What up, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, Wherewiz sent me their blood pressure monitor smartwatch. So there's been a lot of rumors with the Apple Watch or even the Samsung Watch being able to track blood pressure. This is the first watch I've got in my hands on that can actually track your blood pressure. I'm gonna go into how we're gonna use it, the specifications on it, and really, is it meant for you? But let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, with the unboxing, it's very nice. They even sent me a thank you letter with a little thing for a smartwatch. Not even really sure what part of the smartwatch that is, but it's very nice of them to send me that. With the unboxing, you did have to cut a little bit of a strip there. And then when you take this off, this is gonna have all of your charging devices and it even comes with a pretty thick manual as well. Taking it out, you can tell right over here, this is where it is going to be inflating. Even has a little bit of a screen cover on it. Let's see if it has any battery currently. It is a pretty hefty dude metal base so it does have a little bit of battery which is great so right now i use the qr code so i'm installing the bp doctor plus to get this all set up and of course as it's on it is currently preparing a bluetooth connectivity all right we are opening it up you do need to accept a privacy policy and you also are going to have to set up an account i'm gonna go ahead and do that all right asking me the date of birth why does it always start 2022 nobody's signing up than they were born in 2022 glad it has imperial right at the top because i don't really want to do those calculations right now all right does look like it actually found it we are going to pair it all right we already have the watch face on here and it looks like we are all set up, but let's go into the profile real quick and check out my profile. 5.9 feet. Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, it should say 5 feet 10 inches, uh, but I guess they're going with that. I guess maybe I'm 5.8. Again, this is a hefty dude. It is pretty heavy, but very nice with its clasp. Let's see how it fits on the wrist. All right, we are on again relatively big but we know why we're here we're going to be checking out our blood pressure so let's go ahead and hit that start on blood pressure say the same level as heart Don't really tell me i have to do anything but usually you should be quiet all right and it gave me a reading let's see if i can go ahead and restart the app or refresh the app to see if it gives me the reading on here perfect 154 over 88 all right and we're back and after a little bit of testing i figured it out make sure to read your direction so the biggest thing i wasn't doing is i wasn't elevating my wrist above my chest for those of you who have been doing this for a long time you know that and also giving yourself a little bit of time to calm down but when i did do that i got a great reading I got around my regular 136. It is a little bit high, but I got around my regular. I also used my WellU armband, so I've reviewed this before, and this is also great for heart rate tracking, and it does have a great battery as well, but it's not as convenient as something that's on your wrist. So the biggest thing with it is you will need to make sure you're calming down and keep a consistent environment when you are doing your readings to get the best out of each and every reading. So now that's all done. That is pretty darn accurate, especially for what it is let's go into the rest of what it has going on so it does do spo2 levels does them fairly accurately takes about mm, 20 seconds to fully get it in and it also does things like heart rate and also does continuous tracking as well when you have it on which is great and it is decent for workout tracking not the best in the world but that's really not why you have the band heart rate variability i wasn't able to check too much with as i didn't have it on for i believe longer periods of time than i would need to step tracking also fairly accurate and sleep tracking also did fairly good as well so you can get some sleep tracking in let you know when your wake time is your deep and your light sleep but no rem sleep other things in the app is you can set up a calendar if you need to make sure to get your stuff in and of course to schedule different readings when you need to. And then when you go into your profile, this has the watch. You can change out your theme right here through the store and my dial type thing. You can change out your goals. You can change in your family if you have anybody following you and stuff like that. Blood pressure categories giving you an idea of where you should be at. You can change out your units from imperial to metric, which we're metric, but that's a whole entire different thing. Your personal information, making sure that's all up to date as well. And then you can log log out and cache information all right there. Getting into the user interface, you can swipe from right to left and this will go right into your blood pressure monitoring, your heart rate, 
you go into your SPO2 right there. And of course, when you swipe backwards, that's where it's gonna go. When you swipe from left to right, this is gonna be all your health metrics that you're able to go through as well. And then when you swipe up, this is gonna be all of your messages. You do have to make sure that is uh, available on your app. When you swipe down, there's even some little settings here and there that you're able to go through, display, about, and stuff like that. If you wanna turn on brightness, always on, and raise to wake. When you hit the top right button, this is your screen off button. You hit that big button, it's gonna bring you all the way back home. And there's also all of your apps as well at a quick glance. If you hold that top right button, this is gonna power off your device. And if you hold the big button, this is gonna direct you to change your heart, do your heart rate measuring. So getting into that, let's see if this is gonna allow it. You see this little belly does fill up and it's gonna fill up around your wrist. Again, it takes about 20 seconds to fully go in. You also have your optical heart rate monitor here at the bottom as well. And when you clip on your charger, you're gonna have to go it all the way through. It's gonna have a micro USB that you're able to get into, but it has a nice little spot to sit there with. These bands are not replaceable. You'll probably be having to talk into the manufacturer to get them fully replaced. But again, a very solid build, pretty heavy as well. So what are my overall thoughts and recommendations with this band? So if you need something on the go with a blood pressure monitor, I really don't see any other options on the market currently. This only takes about 20 seconds to make get a full reading in and it's fairly accurate as long as you're keeping a consistent environment throughout. And it's great as just a regular watch. It has a decent battery life at about seven days of standby. But again, if you're using it for workouts, continuous heart rate, and if you're doing a lot of blood pressure monitoring, you'll probably get anywhere from about four to five days fully. But the charging stand takes about two to three hours to fully charge. They say it's medical grade accuracy and I would tend to agree, I mean, I also have uh, my WellU that also has medical grade accuracy and they're both very similar as far as my blood pressure was concerned. But again, make sure you have that consistent environment. So if you are looking to purchase this band, there is a link down below that's gonna shoot you to the site. It is at about $299 currently and that's off from its $450 price. So if you wanna check it out, definitely click out that link and it's gonna help me grow my channel. The things I wouldn't really get this for is get it for specific workout tracking. It's not the best in the world as it is a little bit clunky and can be a little bit cumbersome on the longer jogs, but it does have a great build and it's pretty flashy as well. And you'll also get some fairly good sleep tracking, especially if you're keeping it on for those five days. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please smash that like button. And if it was really helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you'll be one of the first ones to know when my newest video comes out. Check out the link down below if you're looking to get one of these bands. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.